Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about creating embedded animations for your character's accessories, so part of the action menu. We're going to learn how to animate different accessories simultaneously by using uh, naming conventions and all that fun stuff. Uh, if you haven't uh, already, check out our tutorial on accessory assembly and animation. This will explain a lot more as a, as a precursor to this uh, tutorial here. Um, but for now we're just, we just have our uh, female side-facing character on the screen. Let's jump right into it here. So what we're going to do is, um, like in the previous tutorial, we're going to load in a customized hair accessory. So to do that, uh, I'm going to go over here to my composer mode, and uh, once we're in there, we're going to delete the original hair on our character. Let's remove the bones right now, uh, since we don't really need those. So let's go ahead and select the uh, hair bone here and delete it. Uh, the front hair, rather. There you go. Now she has this kind of weird haircut with no bangs, so we'll take the back hair and we'll delete that as well. And what we want to do is we want to add on a hair accessory here. We can go to the content manager under templates, uh, actor, accessory, uh, under hair. You'll find this uh, hair, uh, all this hair stuff over here. I'm just going to throw in this choppy bangs side. You can just double click it and it will apply automatically to your character's head because it's uh, saved with all that positioning data already. Okay, I'll provide a link in the description where you can download this uh, this pack as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to stage mode now. I'm just going to go and animate my character's hair like we did previously. So let's go uh, select it. You can select the hair, you can select your character, and if you right click on your character, there's a special accessory animations uh, section here, and you can go to the choppy bang side and just do things like animate the hair flopping around in the breeze, just like that. Okay, so if I go ahead and play back, you can see, there we go, flopping around the breeze up until about, I think it's frame 22 or 21. So what we're going to do is we're going we're to add more accessories to our character, and we're going to animate those uh, with an action menu uh, command, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Now, in the previous tutorial, like I mentioned, accessory assembly and animation, we created three separate accessories. Um, I'm just going to go and uh, add those onto my character now. We can go to Actor and Custom and Accessory, and here we have the badge and the left and the right vest. So let's go ahead and just double-click those and add them on. Let's add our uh, left vest on here first. Make sure once you add it on, you select your character, you reselect your character. Otherwise, it will try to add one accessory to another and it won't work. So uh, let's do the same thing with the right vest there. Okay. And do the same thing with the badge. So just throw on a few uh, cowboy vest accessories onto our character there. She's a, she's a sheriff now. Okay, so now if I right-click on any of these uh, accessories, there's an action menu, but there's really nothing in the action menu. So that's a problem here. Because what we want to do is we want to add uh, the animations to that accessory. Whereas if we click the hair and we go to the action menu, you'll see there's a whole bunch of uh, animations for the hair. Uh, the walking, running, and the breeze one, which we applied. So the naming of this is very important, and we'll get into that in just a moment here. So what I'm going to do first is we're going to actually animate our badge accessory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press F3 and go into the timeline. You can also go down here to select your timeline like this way as well. And uh, make sure that you have looping on, okay? So make sure this is red here uh, because that's going to be very useful uh, later on. Uh, with my choppy bangs track, I'm going to close all the other tracks here. Uh, well, I'm going to actually leave those open for now. But uh, with choppy bangs, I'm going to go into the motion track. And this is where that breeze motion uh, we have has is located okay so we can click and drag up here to kind of go through like that so this animation is 21 frames long now just for uh, easy uh, ease of use here i'm going to go ahead and click and drag this little green or rather green red uh, arrow here i don't know why i said that christmas colors okay so just go ahead and click and drag it all the way down to here and this is basically your project length so this is how, how much is going to render when you finally get to rendering, okay? And you'll see this little thing up here, uh, down here. You can also click and drag it very carefully uh, down here in the timeline as well. So just click and drag it to frame 21. So we now have 21 frames, and the 22nd is something we don't need. So if we have this and we loop it, you'll see it'll just kind of keep going back and forth, back and forth. It'll loop, and we have that uh, looping breeze on the hair. Cool, so that's exactly what we want to create our animation. So let's go ahead then and select the badge, okay? I also like to use this uh, object-related track. If you have that selected, then it'll only open the track for the object that you have selected on your screen, all right? Super useful. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go into the uh, prop key editor here, okay? And you'll see these tracks will open up here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and 
go to the transform section because we're just going to kind of move this a little bit forward. Uh, what I want to do to create an animation is at frame one, I want to just go ahead and press reset all. And you'll see that's going to add some keyframes there into these tracks. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is go to the very last one and I'm going to press reset all as well. So basically this frame 21 and frame one have the same position, which is straight for this badge. Okay. And then somewhere in the middle, maybe about frame 10 or 11, I'm going to go ahead and just rotate it slightly to the side, just tilt it like that. Okay. So this is our transform track right here. You can see the T stands for transform at the very end. Okay. So keep that in mind, that little T there. All right. So then what we, what we have is a very simple animation. So like this, okay. Back and forth. We'll pretend it's like some kind of paper badge or else the wind is really blowing this metal badge or maybe it's a tin badge. Who knows? Okay. But anyway, so we have that animation all taken care of. Now, what do we, what do we do if we want to add this animation to our character's action menu? Well, it's pretty easy. All we got to do is open up the collect clip track and click and drag in the collect clip track from frame 21 all the way to one. So this is the area that we want to export uh, our animation. So I'm going to right click in that track once I've selected it and select add to action menu. Okay. Now this is important. We're going to name this breeze and it's case sensitive. So you have to have a capital B. Okay. Like the name of the previous one we applied to the hair and we're going to press okay. Okay. And then I can go ahead and, uh, you know, click my character, right click it and remove object animation. That's going to remove all the animation on my character. So if I play back now, no animation, including the accessories. Okay. Right, so then what I can do is I can actually click right click on my character again and go to accessory animations. And now we have two options. We have the uh, one for the bangs on the side. Okay. So this is our, uh, the bangs for our character, the hair, All right? We still have that breeze option right there. And then we have this BG, which is actually the badge. Okay. And this BG is the name of it for short. And we also have a breeze for badge too. So if we apply the badge breeze, you'll see, boom, that's the animation that we created. We can right click on our character again, go to accessory animation and do the same thing for the choppy bang side. Okay. Just like this. All right. So then we have both of them animated separately. But we actually had to go into the action menu twice and we applied them both separately. I'm going to show you how you can actually apply them all at the same time. And that's where the naming convention comes in handy here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my character again, remove object animation. And let's do the same thing. Let's right click, go to accessory animation, but I'm going to select this breeze one up top. Okay. So this is the animation that, that, uh, basically every accessory that has an animation named breeze. When you select this, it's going to animate them all simultaneously. So let's go ahead and test that out. Boom. So you can see we just use that one command and both those animations have worked simultaneously. So that's pretty cool. All right. Let's take it up to the next step here. Let's remove uh, the animation one more time and let's go now to select our left vest here. And I'm going to use the prop key editor again. You can also use the K hot key for that. But this time I'm going to go to uh, frame 21 and do the same thing. Reset all. Okay. And I'm going to go to frame 10 here. And this time we're going to use the deform. Okay. So deform is where you kind of have a bit more options with uh, changing the shape of your accessory. So I'm going to hold control and click on all these bottom points here. Again, I'm holding control to do that. And at frame 10, I'm going to move them all over to the side here. So like it's kind of something's blowing in the wind. Okay. Just like that. So then what we have is we have this little blow like that. And then between the frame 10 and frame 21, I want to go ahead and select the middle ones. Uh, again, holding control and selecting them all and moving these a little bit further out like this. So it's going to kind of create like a wave of, uh, kind of like a wave animation just like that. Okay. Pretty cool. All right. So once that's done, we can go ahead and collect clip, do the same thing. Click and left click and drag in the track there, right click it and select add to action menu. And we'll call this breeze as well. Okay. Remember, remember to make sure it's the uh, capital B and press. Okay, cool. All right. So next step, let's go ahead and, uh, well, actually let's remove, remove the animation. Just test that out real quick. So accessory animation, L vest and breeze. So the vest will move by itself and then we can right click, remove object animation right click and use the breeze. There you go. Everything is animating all together. Pretty cool. 
Okay, so let's finally, let's just do uh, finalize the right side of the vest and then we'll be done. So again, the procedure, I'm just going to remove all the animation and uh, go select my right side of the vest here. And in the, uh, let's go open up our transform track there or the uh, uh, position prop key editor here. So let's go ahead and go to frame 21. Again, just press reset all to add those keyframes. Frame 10. And we're going to select the bottom three uh, points there and kind of just move it over over like this and then we'll go to frame 15 or 16 and take these three points and move those over slightly just like that all right and then we'll have an animation for the right side of our vest awesome and then again Collect clip, click and drag, left click and click and drag, right click and add to action menu. We're going to name it Breeze. Okay. Same thing. So very simple procedure. And then once you're finished all that, everything's in the action menu. You can right click, remove your object animation, and then we can uh, right click the entire character and go to our accessory animation here and go to Breeze. So there's everything animated all together like that. Pretty cool. All right, so that's how you can animate the accessories all together. Let's just throw on something else onto that just for fun. We'll go to animation here, motion for G3 human characters. Let's go to our elastic folks side facing, and we can just do something like emotion or perform. Uh, let's find something where she's uh, maybe thinking. There should be a think animation here somewhere. I believe S T thinking, there we go. So we'll just loop this thinking animation, okay? Now the problem here we automatically uh, come up with is that our left arm is below the accessory. So there's an easy way to solve that, and that is to go into your uh, composer mode here. So what we want to do is make our left arm and left hand above the accessories. So we can achieve that by going to the layer manager, and uh, let's just uh, um, let's collapse the list here just to make things easier. And we need to select our left hand layer and our left arm layer, holding control, selecting both of those. And all I want to do is click and drag both of them on top of uh, these accessories here. So let's go ahead and place them there. Oh, this one too there. Okay, there we go. So now we're on top of the accessories. So that's going to be a permanent change, which is what we want anyway. So let's go ahead and go back to stage mode. And boom, you'll see our left arm and hand will now appear in front of our vests. Then we have this uh, thinking animation just like this and our characters um, you know vest is blowing in the wind. So really that's all there is to it to adding uh, you know animations to your action menu and uh, animating a number of different accessories simultaneously. Really useful if you're adding you know stuff like this um, pieces of clothing that, that uh, you know, consist of multiple accessories combined. Um, you can animate them all at the same time by using this technique. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully you learned a lot in this tutorial. Make sure you check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com, and I'll see you in the next video.